Uh, hi there. Uh, okay, so today's little project. It's another one of these uh, eBay kits. Another, another, another kit off eBay. I'm pretty sure you can't see that particularly, and it looks a lot more complicated than what it really is. But this is the um, this is the schematic. And here's the parts. Um, no. There's one here that says zero. This is in the resistors. I know that because I understand Mandarin. <coughs> no, I don't. That's a lie. I know it's resistors because this is 1K, 210K, and I just deduced that inside this box here, then there must all be resistors. Zero. Zero, zero, zero. So I'll show you what that looks like. I don't know if you can see this. And it has one band on it. Right in the middle there, that black one. I'll pull that back out a bit further. Um that is actually on the little meter that I've got this the camera stood on at the minute it says it's a damaged or unknown part um, and when I do it on my Bryman I'm just gonna check this again damaged or unknown part what's it say it says resistor it says 1.6 ohms okay so it's trying to say that it's like naught ohms. I mean, it's a very, very small resistance resistor. On my primer, it says 1.1, I think. And on this band dangly, it says it's 39.4 mega ohms, milli ohms. Oh, it's milli ohms, not mega. I was reading it wrong. I thought it said mega ohms when I first put it on. But now that's fine. Okay. I'm going to ship that out of the way. I was just balancing a piece of paper up there. Um, okay, yeah, so. We're going to put that together today. This is the board. It's, uh, it has a. Sorry about the music, it's uh, freebie music off the internet, if you can hear it, I don't even know if you can hear it or not, um, but I've had my Tesla coil on the go in here and it tends to play buggery with my, um, with what's on my hard drive, <laughs> or on my phone, I don't know if it was on my phone first, but anyway, before, I'm not going to pull this, um, I never understand why they don't just sink it into the socket slightly, rather than have it on top, but where they can... There we go, I'm going to make it nice and quiet. Um, where the pins get bent. But anyway, it's an Atmel 20 pin 8 bit microcontroller. A uh, couple of K bytes flash memory. And uh, 128 bytes of RAM. That's pretty much all I know about it. I looked it up on the date sheet. You've got some resistors, 220 ohm. 1K, whole bunch of these transistors, uh, 8550, and there's a 7805 in there, I think somewhere. So, the, um, the plan today is to put this together, and hopefully. Hopefully we'll be on to a winner, because if I remember correctly, I've got another one of these, very, very similar. It's just slightly different. And the, um, I think this is for a battery. No, that's for a speaker. I think I do have one out of battery, so, oh, I don't actually know what this is, you know. 
And for some reason, I thought it was a clock, but now looking at it now, it doesn't have a battery. I don't think it's a clock, because how would it remember the time? Maybe an alarm or something like that. Doesn't look like it's going to have. I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't actually say what it is. It doesn't say anything on the package either, so. That's another one of those. couple of points in eBay thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not depending on what it is. Oh, it's got a microcontroller on it, so it's got to be something. It looks like a clock. It's got, you know, it's got a display. Seven seconds. It's got a little speaker, which I can imagine is going to probably be quite annoying. And I'll only just put it in and just tack it slightly because. What's this say? Remove seal after washing. Remove seal? That's what it says. Oh, this thing's not going to focus, is it? On uh, anything. Anything. It's just not going to focus. But I promise you that says remove seal after washing. Is that for me? Did, did I need to wash this? It's like the whole thing, you know, you're supposed to wash your fruit before you eat it because it could be sprayed with something to help keep it preserved or keep things off. I don't know. But it, they normally say wash before use. I don't understand that. If you've got a big bowl of blueberries, how would you wash them? You don't put them in the wash machine, do you? I tend to just hold some down in a bowl because they tend, when you run water through them, they tend to float and Try to bubble off down the sink, plug out. I always wondered how you wash them. I can understand how you wash an apple. You know, run it underneath the tap and just keep washing off whatever's on it. When it comes to like raspberries and blueberries and things like that. Anyway, so. I'm not sure if that's alarming to what may or may not be on that. But I'm to wash it, or somebody is. Okay, we don't want that. Um, little circuit here is my amplifier, my phone amplifier, sound coming out of speakers. But as this is a uh, free music, I thought I'd put this on in the background. Uh, I'll put this together. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start putting this together, but instead of you know going through the time-based of me pulling this together I'm gonna uh, speed up the process I mean I'm not gonna go any quicker I'm just gonna video it and then speed up that process so we don't have to go through the whole thing if there's anything noteworthy through it I'll point it out okay so that's what we're gonna do
Okay, um, let's have a quick little look in the instructions. Just to, I can see there's power going there, but I don't know what these do. This outputs power, I think. It seems to be like some sort of clock timer countdown stopwatch. Why you'd ever want it, I don't know. Device with an awful lot of components, and like that 80 Actimo. Uh, processor but it wants powering up between 5 and 12 volts so I'm going to do that now um, I've got channel 2 on the go so I've got channel 1 7 volts, 100 milliamp, that'll do let's uh, so some cables my uh, bench is made out of metal well at least the, the frame is and underneath the actual desk part at the top I've got <clears throat> a lot of magnets out of hard drives so and I put all my cables on there so it's very easy to get hold of um, well I may as well just go straight in here with these maybe if I can oh it's a little bit challenging I might have to stick a yeah I'll have to stick a stick something in there just to make it a little bit easier to get hold of there are plenty of these wires out there. These are the lock up cables. No, uh, the ground is this side. I oh, know it's probably not the right plat, you know, the right colour for ground, but come here. Oh, that looked really awkward, didn't it? I don't normally screw screws in that awkwardly. It's just that I've got a. For some reason, I've got so used to having this lens light in front of me, I tend to do everything looking through it. Okay, so we got a. It says. <clears throat> I've actually got those the wrong way around. It's not very helpful. Just keep the keep the wires sort of like relatively to the right polarity. At least um There we go. Right, negative on negative on ground. Get off. Okay. So we've got a connection there, so we're gonna give it some life. Okay, well, cool. see what happens. Okay. Well, it started to count. I don't know. I you know, but I don't actually know what it's supposed to be. I presume it well, is it a clock? It's not ticking time as such. Uh, no idea what I'm doing. Oh, maybe that's the time. Is there a time on it? I'm just pressing the buttons, just, you know, wondering if I can... It looks like it's counting seconds, but I don't know if that actually refers to the time. That'd be nice, have a little digital clock, if it is a clock. I think it's a timer. It costs... Well, I'll look it up. I have... Um, do you know what's about to stick a, a real solder behind the... Um, <laughs> behind the circuit board to, to prop it up just by having a quick look on the computer. 
And if anybody wants to, they can watch time ticking past. This is a clock as well. This has actually got the temperature sensor and all sorts to go um, to be done. There's a lot of SMD parts on there as well, which is uh, I may do that tomorrow. Yeah, pretty much wrong. My shell table is supposed to be. 